Every year I like to do these habit videos to prepare us for the new year. So here are 23 life-changing habits for 2023. Number one, having a worry journal or writing down your worries somewhere. I don't know about you, but I worry a lot. And so something that helps me is to write down all of my worries for today. I write them down and then I figure out, is this hypothetical or is it real? And if it's a real problem that I am struggling with right now, that I'm concerned with, what can I do to change it? What are my truths revolving? around this situation because perhaps it is completely out of my control and I can't do anything about it and knowing I have thought it all through actually helps me feel better and if it's still out of my control then it's okay number two learning how to find the best deals I feel like many times a lot of people just want something and they go to the first place that they see it and they buy it but I am someone who likes to make sure I am getting the best deal out of whatever it is I'm buying I have learned that on the internet you are going to find different prices for the same exact flight hotel Hell, even slippers. So I guarantee you're going to find a cheaper price. And a website that I am very happy with is Timu. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring this portion of this video. And if you want to do a little holiday shopping or you're literally looking for anything, they have so much on their website. I was blown away with the amount of items I could get. I even got this really cute pillow for my couch. I got slippers and a bunch of other stuff that I am very pleased with. You can even shop for really affordable clothes. They also have household items. It's amazing. So if you want to save money, you should definitely check them out. They are running a promotion right now where so many things are on sale. And if you use my code TIMU928, you will get an additional 30% off your purchase. So make sure to click the link below and use my code TIMU928. And it's going to show you a page of some of the top things that I bought and then also curate a list for you. Number three, get rid of decision paralysis. I am the type of person where if I'm presented with two really good options, I can't decide because I am so fearful that I'm going to choose the wrong thing. So then I fixate on which decision is better. But the truth of the matter is that both options are probably really good and believe that you can change and fix things if that wasn't the decision you actually wanted. For example, a career choice is a really big one. After you have heavily weighed the pros and cons between all of them, trust that you know yourself to make a decision and if that's not the right one you can change you can pivot it's okay and if you're trying to be cost efficient then choose the cost efficient option first and for me as a believer it's also trusting that the Lord is sovereign over our lives and he knows number four increasing your daily movement statistically we should be walking about 10,000 steps a day but I know that's hard for a lot of people especially if you're working from home so I am doing everything I can to increase my movement throughout the day whether it is walking across my living room a couple of times, whether it's taking the stairs instead of the elevator, whether it's parking further away. Those are things that I still do to this day. Sometimes I forget things in the car and I'm too lazy to go downstairs, but then I remind myself, actually, it's a great thing that I can go back down and go get it because I am increasing my movement throughout the day. When I was a teacher, it was really easy for me to get 10,000 steps because I was on my feet all day long. But now that I work from home, it's a little bit harder. So I have to be really intentional with incorporating movement into my day. So 10,000 steps equates to five miles and you can get that done in 12 to 13 hours in the day, which is not that bad. Number five, create a sleep cycle for yourself. This goes in line with our circadian rhythm, which I've talked about in a lot of my videos. Basically, you want to create a cycle where your body is aware of when we are sleeping and when we should be awake. That is how a lot of people can fall asleep so quickly and they can wake up without an alarm. It's because they've created a sleep cycle. Now, one of the best ways to jumpstart a sleep cycle is to wake up early in the morning and not take a nap in the middle of the day. If you wake up at 6 a.m., literally, drag yourself out of bed and then you do a bunch of work throughout the day I guarantee at 10 o'clock at night the minute your head hits the pillow you're going to be pretty tired and that may mean you have to give up some of your me time but trust that the sleep is worth it because I guarantee not everybody loves feeling tired all the time and I'm telling you you don't have to feel tired all the time you just need sleep number six turn off any push notifications or things that are constantly demanding for your attention on your phone some things that I keep it on for are my text messages or my emails social media and any other apps I actually turn off the push notifications I can look at that later whenever I decide to open social Social media but I don't need things demanding for my attention constantly number seven preventative care I'm gonna start from the top and go down preventative care for our hair making sure that we are using shampoo and conditioner that is healthy for our hair and if you notice your hair is falling out a lot you want to prevent that from happening because as we get older it's just going to get worse so I've actually been looking into different hair care routines and one routine I saw on TikTok was to use apple cider vinegar with some water in our 
hair. I got this spray bottle from Timu also. Basically, it's one part apple cider vinegar to four parts water, and then you just spray it all the way through your hair. I'll do a more detailed video if you guys want to see it, but basically that's going to help balance out the pH in your hair. Preventative care for your skin and developing our skin barrier. I buy a lot of products that are going to help with my skin barrier and ensuring that it's protecting my skin. Our teeth. I actually go to the dentist three times a year, which is a bit annoying that insurance only covers two visits. I go an extra visit and I just pay for that one because if you go every six months, actually the plaque buildup can be a little intense. And body care, of course, taking care of how we eat and how we move our bodies because as we get older, it's going to be harder. So if you have the energy to do it now, why wouldn't you? And if you don't have the energy to do it now and you are young, that's telling you something and you should have the energy. <laughs> Habit number eight, this is probably one of my favorite habits and it's routines for everything. Laundry routine, shower routine, we should have a routine for everything. And the more chaotic life gets, the stricter and tighter your routine should be to keep your life in order as much as you can. An example of a routine I have set in place is I put two toilet paper rolls in my basket. This ensures no one ever comes to my bathroom and says, I don't have toilet paper. Like that should never happen. Number nine, another one of my most favorite quotes is everything has a home. Now this is going to prevent you from buying things you don't need because if you go to a store and you see something cute and you can't imagine where it's going to go that means you don't have a home for it so don't buy it buy it because you know exactly where it's going to go in your house and it serves a purpose number 10 I'm not going to get too into detail about this because I have talked about it in previous videos and definitely I'll give you some keywords to look up but make sure you're working out your hips because it is vital to protecting our knees when we run it's really important when we do squats and it's basically just kind of like a powerhouse for a lot of our lower body movements and stretching them is really important because we walk this way and we don't really practice going this way and two your pelvic floor that's going to be your core muscles and ensuring you know how to protect your back by engaging your core Number 11, eating every three to four hours. I know some people who eat at eight o'clock in the morning and then they don't eat again for another seven hours. That is not okay because you are not getting enough nutrients throughout the day to do all the things that you are doing. So you wanna eat every three to four hours to not only boost your metabolism, but to ensure you are fueling your body correctly. Number 12, delaying gratification. I'm sure you have heard this so many times, but I'm gonna be very specific. It's okay to just enjoy whatever season you are in. But if you want to buy something and it's a big purchase, it's okay to not have it right away so that you can have the financial peace of mind. Number 13, learn a new language. So I am really interested in looking into other languages. I already speak English and Korean and I've learned Mandarin before. So now I'm thinking Japanese, but I have been using Duolingo. I think it is so cute. And it's just a really fun way to kind of be exposed to different languages. And they say if you learn one language, it starts to become a little easier to pick up other languages. Number 14, going to therapy. Therapy is an expense just like how a gym membership is an expense or shopping is an expense. Eventually, you'll get used to spending money on your mental health. But if it's something that you haven't done before, then it is going to feel like, eh, do I really need it? And you're gonna make an excuse to not do it. Even as a believer, it almost seems like, oh, as a Christian, like, why do you need therapy? It's a space where I can really be raw, open and honest and humble myself. And to say, I don't have it together. And I really wanna work on being more loving towards the people God has placed in my life. Number 15, being okay with being uncomfortable. Everyone in life goes through really hard times, but it's understanding that this life is not perfect and if you are uncomfortable, it's going to bring the most change. Because if you notice, when we're comfortable, we're not faced with any resistance, we're not changing. Everything in life requires resistance in order for growth to happen. So embrace being uncomfortable. You're in a situation that's uncomfortable, great, you are going to learn and it's going to make a great story. <laughs> you can also trick your brain to release dopamine during moments of discomfort. So that's why a lot of people get this super happy wave of emotions when they're working out because you're telling your brain, this is good for us. I like this feeling. I like pushing myself. I like seeing how far I can go. And you release dopamine while you're working out. It's not even after, but during. Number 16, do not check your weight every single day. That is not a healthy habit 
to have unless you have to for a specific reason but if you don't have any other reason other than just out of curiosity i would say check your weight one time a week same day same time it's normal for your weight to fluctuate different days and different times because you're eating different things you're moving around a different amount and it just depends if you weighed yourself after you ate and all of that so being consistent is better number 17 talking about money again name every dollar Basically, when you get your paycheck, assign the full amount to something. If you get paid $2,000 a month, where is all of that going to go? Assign it and be aware of it. Number 18, reasonable spending and maintenance. As a girl, I feel like there are just a lot of things we can pay for. And I have found that I'm trying really hard to simplify my life so I don't have to maintain so many purchases. For example, I found that when I was getting my nails done, especially during my engagement and wedding season, it was a lot every month to upkeep my nails. I, so I just prefer not to get them done anymore because then I don't have to go in and I can save that money. Whether it's $50 a month, you know, in six months, that's $300. And my hair. So I used to dye my hair different colors and I feel like I didn't want to do that right now because I don't want to maintain it. But right now, I don't have to do that. I just have to pay for a haircut. But absolutely no hate to anybody who wants to do those things because I think it looks fantastic. But right now, I'm trying to strip down the amount of payments I do every month and that means not maintaining some of these beauty care things number 19 we've all heard we need to drink more water but hydrate early you will drink more water if you wake up earlier and start drinking water right away so you start drinking at 7 a.m by 7 p.m that's already 12 hours of you drinking water number 20 find out your best time to be productive by logging your activities for the next three days figure out at what time in the day do you end up actually doing the work that you say you're going to do when are you reading when are you taking notes when are you writing log those times and see if you see a pattern in the next three days if you find that they're all happening at 10 o'clock at night perhaps you're a night person because you've created that habit for yourself so figure out are you okay with that number 21 this is actually something i learned at a teacher conference and it was all about trauma and fight or flight so acknowledge your fight or flight so in any situation we decide whether we're gonna run away or we're gonna fight it or get aggressive and i have found that this actually happens more often than not whether you're writing an email you might end up in a fight or flight when someone's upset with you you start to think okay i feel like i'm in danger am i gonna run away or am i gonna fight this person acknowledge that it's fight or flight and regulate yourself you can tell yourself hey i know you're trying to protect me i know it seems like we need to be in fight or flight right now but we're not in danger and it's okay so we can just answer the way that it is number 22 don't let yourself be mastered by anything in this world i'm really big on not allowing things to control me or to have an upper hand on me for example i don't drink coffee because because I don't want to be dependent on it. I don't want to say like, I need this to function as a human. I don't want to go anywhere and say like, I need X, Y, Z, but everything in moderation. And number 23, last but not least, and one of the biggest things that continually changes my life is finding meaning in this world and is knowing that I am saved by Jesus and not seeing religion as like this, oh, put off thing. It's truly a relationship with a savior and reading his word and trying to understand it versus trying to pull verses from the Bible to have it apply to my life and my beliefs. It's about shaping my beliefs based on what the word says. That's me in a nutshell and just all the little habits that I've incorporated in my life and I hope that it helps you in the new year. I can't believe we're almost at 2023. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!